So I'm really shocked at how many of you are responding to my, my little joke memes that I've been posting. Um, I'm just gonna call them Salty Ashley memes. But I've been getting a really good response from customers, followers, other leaders, and especially other Color Street stylists. So I'm gonna keep doing them. But today it's gonna be a video. And this is gonna be the basis of the, of the video manners okay if there's one thing i can portray to people it is the importance of good manners you guys there are so many rude people out there and i don't know if your if your parents aren't teaching you this but guess who's there for you a south is a south will teach you okay so get this i love gifting it is one of my favorite love languages i love meeting new people and being like girl let me send you a set girl let me send you a full set let me send you these gifts let me send you a valentine's gift and a christmas i do it for me i am not doing it so that you buy from me i mean maybe you will sure but i'm not doing that for that i'm doing it because it makes me happy to love on people um but here's the deal whether someone's sending you a sample for their product whether someone is sending you a free gift no matter what for me it's just to love on people. It's not, you do not owe them your business, okay? Here's the thing. You don't need to feel pressured. You never owe them anything. But do you know what you do owe them? Good manners. Good manners and consideration. So if someone sends you something, that means that they took the time to lovingly package it up. They purchased the product. They got the bubble mailer. They bought the shipping tape. They printed out the label to send it to you. They put on cute little stickers. They packaged it with love. They drove their ass to the post office to send it off to send it to you. They wrote your name on there and they really struggled to have good handwriting if they're like me, okay? So they went through all these steps to send you something. And then if they simply follow up to make sure you got it because the post, let's face it, the post office is kind of sketchy, all right? If they just follow up to make sure that you got their gift or their sample or whatever it is and you ghost them, you're the asshole. I'm sorry. Someone's got to say it, guys. You're the asshole. Now, I'm never going to follow up to force you to buy from me. I'm just literally making sure you got it, okay? So keep in mind that you don't owe anything to anyone. Heck, I love to send free product out to people and if they shop with another stylist, I'm happy. Maybe it's not for them. Cool, thank you so much for telling me. I'm glad we're friends. Let's keep this relationship going. You don't have to buy Color Street for me to be my friend. But you know what you do have to have to be my friend? Manners. Manners is what you need to have. Consideration and being a genuinely good human being. And it's like basics here, guys. This is like manners 101. Don't be a dick. If someone sends you something, and obviously you have sent them your address, so you want it, um, just be a decent human communicate. If you don't like the product, tell them. I'm not sending things to get something out of it, but I do want to make sure it gets to someone. I definitely want to make sure it's not lost in the mail somewhere or someone thinks that I just ignored them or forgot about them, but I am friggin' shocked at the amount of people that will turn around and want something for free and then ghost you. Tacky. So, so tacky, guys. Don't be tacky.